Oh, I'm bad, bloody time! <laughs> Took you long enough! Hello guys, CFC Alex here and welcome back to another match vlog. Today it's going to be Al Hilal against Chelsea in the FIFA Club World Cup semi-final in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Right now I am in the UAE but I'm in Dubai specifically. Now obviously uh, there's a lot of things you can still see in Dubai uh, from obviously right now I'm in the financial center in the DIFC but you can even go to the Dubai Expo which obviously there are loads of things you can see it's actually really really great the amount of stuff and effort they put in and you'll see some pictures obviously on screen right now from russia france thailand and so on and so forth but yeah i mean if you have the chance go and see it it ends sometime in march 50 days from now now there are also other areas you can explore from the dubai marina basically the beach in dubai which is actually really good and as you can see in the picture i did a sand turtle mountain that was my attempt at doing so so yeah i mean <laughs> make of that what you will but no I mean it's definitely look the beach is very relaxing over there that environment is very much for people who are in their 20s their 30s in general so you know if you ever go to Dubai and you want to find the perfect beach environment I mean that could be the right one for you obviously I went to the Dubai mall also as you can see in the, the videos right here inside it's massive there's loads of different stores highly recommended as you can go outside there is also a better view for you to see the Burj Khalifa and yeah no I mean honestly it's a really really great experience so far hopefully the game proves to be a, even a better one and in terms of my score prediction well I mean Al Hilal are a tough side no doubt and I fully expect it to be kind of challenging um, so I would say look I mean Chelsea are the favorites they should win this comfortably also so I hope it's 3-1 could be 2-1 along with those lines. We'll see. All right, so uh, obviously the lineups have been out for a little bit of a while, uh, but yeah, I mean obviously Kepa and Go, a back three of uh, Christensen, Thiago Silva, and Rudiger. The midfield four, um, obviously kind of defensive with Aspilicueta and Alonso as the wing backs, um, and in the pivot, obviously Jorginho and Kovacic. I mean, look, uh, is, that's not really a surprise. Um, the front three, though is a little bit of a surprise. That's three left foot players. So that's Ziyech on the right, Havertz most likely gonna be on the left and Lukaku up front. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I expected maybe a little bit more of a variation. Maybe um, Havertz, I don't know, Pulisic or Hudson-Odoi alongside Timo Werner, but I did not expect um, um, front three of left footed players. That's not ideal. That's never worked out from what I've seen, so. Look, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, look, I'm still hopeful, of course. But yeah, let's see how the game goes.
Oh, you messed that up, Lukaku. Ah! Oh, you messed that up, Lukaku. So many times Chelsea, let the ball slip from his grasp. And yeah, that's. Oh, um, come on, Chelsea. Ziyech crossing it in. Oh, what a sick move! Could have been a perfect rebound opportunity for Alonso. But uh, there go Ali Lala on the counter. Uh, I don't know about this. My God! I mean, <laughs> Alonso just really messed that one up, but so did Marega, I think it was. Oh! Well, at least he got a good opportunity from Zero. But oh, he was offside. Well, looks like yeah, looks like Lukaku was offside two times now, I think. Two opportunities where you should just easily put it back in the back of the net. Uh, hopefully, there'll be an opportunity where it actually scores. Go on, Go on! Counter, man! Counter! Yes? Go on, take him on! Take him on! Take an opportunity, man! You had so much time to take an opportunity! Oh my god! Come on, Lukaku! Move! What do you want? The ball at your feet all the time! Move for it! Good. Well done, Thiago. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's their ball. That's their ball. We're looking a little bit too passive right now. Go on, Lukaku! Go on! Oh! Oh, yo, yo, he's straight at the keeper. What? At least there was power, but... Straight at the keeper. Alright, I can't complain about that one too much. It's a goal! It's a goal! I'll look at the score! What about bloody time? Took you long enough? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of confidence from a keeper because it could have gone all kinds of wrong. But uh, yeah, I mean, still one out to Chelsea, but should have had more goals. What the hell did he pass it to him in the first place? Oh. 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 I have no idea, but I wouldn't be surprised if Lukaku was offside. I don't know. Oh. Oh. It's a little bit better from Lukaku, but yeah. That was an interesting play. That was. He was trying to pass it to Ziek, but it got blocked. No. Oh. Corner gets affected out. Lonzo takes a wild shot, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, straight into the stands. That seems like a good free kick opportunity for Al Hilal. Well, the last thing we need is for them to score half time. <laughs> Please not. <laughs> Easy for Kepa. Oh, the silver, no, come on. Oh, that's not good. I don't like the side of that at all. Yeah. 
at the post. How? How did he hit the post? I mean, I know that was a tight angle, but he kept on running and running and running, and he probably took a little bit too long to shoot, but who knows? Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Oh, come on. Oh! Why are you aiming towards Ziyech? He's that good. Why are you aiming that header towards Ziyech? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I honestly think at this stage. At this stage, just take him off of Werner. Really, because... I mean, it's just not working out. Look, I mean, yeah, okay, he scored, but that was so simple. He didn't even go for the ball, and then he, by luck, got it deflected towards him. Honestly, what an opportunity for Ali Hal. I cannot believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, getting put out there. Yeah. What the hell? What the heck? Come on! Are you kidding me? Why are you leaving? Space! I mean, you know what? This is a Saudi team. This is a Saudi team. If this was a Premier League team, if, if this was Man City, we'd be 5 6 1 down. It'd be humiliating, honestly. Yeah, I really don't know what to say like yet. I do not what to, what to say. When you see an announcement slip like that and he don't get pushed for that opportunity to score, that tells you everything. That tells you absolutely everything. And the fans have confidence. Their fans have confidence. I have no confidence right now that we're gonna win this right now. That's Ah, it's the confidence for us not to go to extra time is really, really low right now. Honestly, the passes are taking way too long, and I, I'm inclined to agree. I mean, maybe they, the team just doesn't trust Lukaku enough, and that's really not good. You need to be able to trust your striker, and if you can't even trust your striker, then. Well, you've got to work as a team to try and get the goals in. Find the other options, but that in are near him in terms of the position. Because whatever you think about Lukaku, Kaku, at least he's in the dangerous positions. Shoot! Oh! That was a good pass amount. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. That was unfortunate. Yeah, apparently they're not happy because they should have received the foul. Well, well done, Malang Sar. That was brilliant. Guys, work together. Come on. It's like they have one area that they want to move to, some players, and they can't even see the whole the whole side of the pitch. I'll be happy when this is over, but like still, I'm really disappointed.
All right, guys, so uh, this is the day after the game. I am back in Dubai, back in and around the DIC area. I had a thought at the review that I was going to include in this vlog that I did right after the game, and I feel like a lot of details were missed on that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably cover it right here. So, first off, I mean, you got to talk about Lukaku, right? Look, unfortunately, the way he was playing just looked so rigid to me. It looked like he felt lost. He leveled, he also missed a lot of big opportunities. And the way he missed them reminded me of Bachuai, Morata. You know, those type of players. The amount of times he would be offside just reminded me of Morata again. And as the game went on, I actually, I actually felt as though the team lacked confidence in passing the ball to him, so much so that when they did pass the right balls, it sometimes felt a bit too late. So yeah, um, and then when you look at the team as a whole, they were definitely complacent. I mean, especially in the second half. And that to me shows a lot of concern because this is a tournament. This is a Club World Cup tournament. This isn't a live training session. And yet the way they were playing, especially in that second half, was like a live training session. So yeah, um, not happy with that because, you know, I, mean, I have to say, thank God, Ali Howe's uh, shots were, were bad. And, and, you know, inside the box especially. And when they were good, thank God we had Kepa in there to actually stop them because you could feel as though... With the amount of opportunities Al Hilal had, they could have easily won this game convincingly. And if this was Man City, they would have probably won 6-1. Um, look, in terms of the players that really tried, I think I could feel that from Ziyech. I could feel that from Kante when he came on. But there, there didn't look to be that much of a communication between, between the team overall. And the coordination just lacked. Again, just felt like a training session out there. And... Like, like the players were new, it was a new team and under a new manager and look, that's really not a good sign at all. Um, but look, uh, hopefully we don't have a repeat of a Sunday league team type performance against Palmaris in the final. I do not want to see that because who knows what can happen there. Uh, we all know that South American teams do want to win this competition, so we need to do well in that one. And uh, yeah, hopefully it goes down well, and I guess I will catch you guys in the final. Until then, I'll catch you guys later.